Hey guys, it is the 8th of July. I am a sick version of Jess McDonald, and I promise this is the last GameSpot News episode of the week with PewDiePie in it. Probably. Since we spent yesterday talking about the famous YouTube Let's Players earnings, it seemed only fair to spend some time today shedding light on PewDiePie's follow-up video where he says money doesn't make you happy. PewDiePie said in his video that money is a topic he tries to avoid, explaining whenever it comes out how much I made a certain year, people just get so shocked. A lot of people were also very angry. They thought it was unfair. They thought I'd just sit on my ass and yell at the screen over here, which is true, but there's so much more to it than that. The YouTuber adds that he's just as happy as he was pre-millionaire. If you want to check out the full video, you can catch it in our story on GameSpot. 343 Industries has made suggestions today as to what resolution we might be playing Halo 5 at. Halo 5 Guardians campaign and multiplayer modes will be running at 60 frames per second, but it seems we'll have to wait a while for a locked down number on the resolution. 343 lead producer Chris Lee told Gaming Bolt, quote, So we're still optimizing the game as we haven't launched, so we haven't locked in our final resolution yet. But we will talk more about that in the future. The game's beta ran at 720p, although 343 indicated that 720 was not going to be the final resolution. Lee was also asked if the Xbox One's ES RAM issues prevented the game from reaching a higher res, to which he replied, it didn't cause any issues for us. In things that are dividing gamers, a hacker linked to the Lizard Squad group that brought down Xbox Live and PSN last Christmas has skirted a prison sentence. Even though the 17-year-old Julius Z. Kill Kivimaki was convicted of more than 50,000 charges related to cybercrimes, a Finnish court has sentenced him to a two-year suspended sentence. Weirdly, he's also been ordered to, quote, fight against cybercrime in what I can only hope is some kind of teenage reformed Batman situation. He has not, however, been given any kind of prison sentence. The central cyber attack in question occurred when the Lizard Squad brought down Xbox Live and PSN between Christmas Day and New Year's, forcing countless gamers to actually spend time with their families over the holiday period. Let me know down in the comments if you reckon the hacker should have received a harsher sentence or not and why. You can head to GameSpot where we've got news on Microsoft layoffs and No Man's Sky's trading and economy explain. That is everything I wanted to tell you about today. As always, let me know what you cared about and I'll catch you tomorrow.